the Ave of polka dot. That's what I'm going to share with you today. Has it been running under the radar now that the bulls and the optimism is coming back in the market? Is this particular crypto going to really take off? Well, that's what we're going to look at in today's video, the Ave of polka dot. If you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I want to serve you to give you this valuable information in time, on time. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. been trading Forex for 15 years, but now I focus exclusively on crypto, featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008. So, let's dive in. What's the coin that I'm talking about? It's Konomi. You may have heard of it, you may not. But, if you look at the price action during this crazy last few months, the price has tanked, but is that a reflection of the project or is that just short-term voting? So what we're going to look at today is the competitor, Aave. Aave is a powerhouse on the Ethereum blockchain. It currently has just under $4.5 billion in market cap. It is ranked at number 36 as of today's recording. You know, its price is doing what it's doing. Let's see where it's at. You know, it's hovering around this mid-region, but it's at around $341. But let's look at what RV is. So this is the RV website. It tells you the total liquidity in RV. Geez, there's a lot of numbers, right? It was that $25 billion, is that right? Yeah, $25 billion. So it's a big deal when it comes to DeFi, decentralized finance. It's, it's a really fundamental part of the whole ecosystem. But what is it? Well, if we click on the FAQs, is what is RV? RV is a decentralized non-custodial, meaning there's no middleman, it's directly on the blockchain non-custodial liquidity market protocol where users can participate as depositors or borrowers. So now let's jump into Konami or Konomi, Konomi, a decentralized money market protocol, but on Polkadot, Polkadot. Always one of the great strategies is see what's done really, really well on one of the more popular blockchains like Ethereum. And then Polkadot is still relatively new and it still really hasn't really launch all of its products in, in the real mass adoption way that, that Ethereum has in terms of in the niche bubble of crypto as mass mass adoption in terms of DeFi. So Konomi is pretty much going to be doing what Aave is doing. Konomi is a decentralized liquidity and money market protocol for cross-chain crypto assets using Substrate, which is the code base of Polkadot, as the development framework. So it's pretty much doing what Aave is doing. It's got some good investors got good partners, it's doing some amazing things, but let's look at the price, that's what we're gonna see. Is now a good time to buy Konomi? Now, a lot of people, now think about this from a psychological standpoint. When something is getting a lot of positive news, price starts moving because people start buying, and then the masses wanna buy, it's called herd mentality, FOMO, fear of missing out. That is often the worst time to buy because the people that got in early before the optimism are looking to take profits once the market moves up. So Konami has been running under the radar. Now the very fact that the price has been tanking, look at this, it's gone from an all-time high, let's look at the all-time high of Konami. I remember this because this was $5.16, are you kidding me? And it's 80, 83% down from its all-time high. Right? That's what you call a discount. The market cap of Konomi is $20 million. Right? So now let's just do the math. Right? We know Aave is $4.5 billion. $4.5 billion market cap. Konomi is $20 million currently. So that means if Konomi got to the level of Aave, as from a market cap perspective, it would need to do a 225x. But now let's just be a bit more conservative and say, look, what if it only did 10% of that? That's still almost a 22X, that's 2,200%. Now look, there's no certainties in this game. Investing always involves risk, so do your proper risk management, but this just kind of gives you a flavor on what's possible. But now let's just jump into the technicals. Now you know that I use um, anyway with Fibonacci. We're using Dex tools. Let's keep the background as it is at the moment. It's like the default background. And Dexel shows us there's a four hour chart where every piece of data just represents four hours. The price has been coming down. But now let's look at this point here. Because have we seen a trend reversal and are we gonna continue to see all time new highs being made with Konomi? Well, that's what we wanna look at in today's video. 
So first of all, the first thing that I notice is in the grand scheme of things, this movement may not look like a lot, but if we measure it from the low to the high and just represent it as an arrow, it seems to be bigger than any previous upside move, even bigger than this one, and it's comparable to this one. Right, but all of this phase here, we can see that it's the biggest move. So that is the first indication of a price overbalance. And that's one of the first signals of a trend reversal. What do I mean by trend reversal? Well, the trend has been down, clearly down, right? That's the direction. But now have we got a trend reversal where the overall price action is going to go up? So now let's just zoom in. If we just zoom in and focus on, let me show you what I'm going to focus on. We're going to focus on this part of the market. We're going to ignore everything else. Is there any particular chart pattern? Because with Konomi, the daily volume is around 2 million, which is around 10% of its market cap, right? And that's what you can see down here. Well, it's 8% technically. 8%, 0.08 is 8% of its market cap. So there's a reasonable amount of attention on it, but you know, it's not hyped. But we can look at the roadmap. Are they gonna launch something very soon when Polkadot moves to its next level? Uh, you know, Once it kind of has a big news announcement, it can start driving price. But the, the key to the game is being in the market before, beforehand. I'm used to the background being white on this because I normally use trading view directly. So let's just update this on Dex tools. So it's nice and clean, right? So now we're gonna zoom in on this part of the market. So what I'm seeing here for Konomi on a short term basis from the 21st, no, what's this? 19th of July until the high of 7th of September. If we just bring out the Elliott wave, Again, if you haven't taken my free masterclass, it's in the link below and it teaches you how to do what I'm about to do. Because I can only do so many videos every week and you probably want to look and have a perspective and a, a strong opinion on your coins. So the masterclass will teach you how to do some of the basics and some of the high level stuff so you can do it live for yourself so you don't have to wait on me. It's in the link below. Click it. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Elliott Waves. So this looks like a nice wave one, two, looks like a three, four and a potential wave five. Just as a quick note, we're going to double click this intermediate. Yep, that's fine. Let's do this as a primary account. I'm going to get rid of these waves because I want to show you something. Hold up. This. Also, just, just a quick lesson within this lesson is this part of the movement that makes us a bit more confident that this is probably going to be a local wave five high is that you got a one, two, three, four, five over five. So I teach this in some of my slightly more advanced courses that just shows you that there's waves within the waves. So there's this one, two, what looks like, looks like even a three, four, and a five, of a five. We're not gonna cover that in too much depth today, but I just wanted to give you the heads up. Um, we can be relatively confident that this is a local high. One of the other reasons again is the price movement to the downside, this first leg down, is bigger than any previous move to the downside. So that's an overbalance of price. That just says there's a short-term trend reversal is likely, and we should see a correction in Konomi. So now let's just do a, a, some textbook Elliott Wave and Fibonacci analysis that allows you to plan to see what is a low that Konomi will probably make for a correction. And if it does do that, remember we're in the game of probabilities and not certainties, then there's a couple of buying opportunities that you can leverage knowing that this is relatively low market cap in the grand scheme of things. So we're going to use the Fibonacci retracement tool. Uh, so over here, called Fib retracement, we're going to click basically this low. I'm going to show you what I'm going to click actually. I'm going to click this low and this high. That's what we're going to measure. So we're going to low. I like to do it to the right so it makes it easier for us to see. And the key ratios that we want is 50%, 62%, and 78.6. There's something called time retracement as well. Um, I try and I want, I want to teach this a bit more actually, because this is really, really powerful. But the basic on time retracement is we're going to measure the time taken for this five way sequence. And then 50% of that is the most common time it takes to finish a correction. So we're going to wait for a minimum of this mark and then the typical maximum is 100%. So what we have now 
is a nice clean price and time zone down here. And what we can anticipate with Konomi is a bit of a correction. You got this first leg down. If we bring up a momentum indicator, let me just change the settings here. There's a few key settings, but because I'm looking at it on a short time frame, I want to use these settings today. I covered cover this in a bit more detail on some of my slightly more advanced courses. And um, we can just look at the indicator. We can do this. Yeah, so we're likely to be hitting a local low. We'll probably get a correction to the correction, which is referred to as a wave B, and then a final leg down as a minimum. And if it gets into this zone, this, this pink box, this may be a good buying opportunity if you have confidence in Konami. Like again, if we just zoom out, if you have confidence that Konami could be the Ave of the Polkadot ecosystem and is going to go beyond this all-time new high, well, the price difference between just even tagging the all-time new high is, what did we say it was? It's What's today's price? Let's say it got down to 50 cents. That's going to be, what's that? That's a, yeah, it's around a 10x. Yeah, 10x, 1,000%. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, but wait for a correction and then the next move up. So Konomi, what's the dates? Actually, let me give you the dates because sometimes it's not clear to see. The correction should, if it does occur this way, remember we're in the game of probabilities and not certainties, is the earliest we should anticipate and be patient for if it unfolds is the 24th of September and the typical maximum, again, doesn't mean it's going to unfold, it's just high probability. Typical maximum is the 16th of October. Being patient, set a price alert, and then you can look at buying, but just apply your proper risk management because you can lose money in this game. You should know that by now. So there you have it. Konomi, under the radar. Is it the RPA of the Polkadot system? Is it gonna do incredibly well? Hey, only time will tell. So you can do your own due diligence. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'll see you soon.